Mike, it seems like a good day to talk about D'Angelo being that he's the first rookie of the week for the conference from this school since 04 or something. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the, the, the progression arc for D'Angelo since he got here? One is mental is to, he's a highly emotional player and what we've tried to do is temper or form that in a way where he can keep his focus uh, and so I think he's done that every week he's gotten better with his ability to adjust to defenses and also understand the Big East. Uh, two is as a guard that we have moved uh, from the two to the one at times he's been a very unselfish scoring guard and, and to teach him to do certain things with his middle game he's been phenomenal in picking up a game where he gets fouled a lot. He leads our team in free throw attempts. So to have a, such a fine shooter also be able to get to the free throw line because he has penetration and pitch in mind is, is, is very unusual. And then three is, is that we're constantly working on him to be a better defender. And I think he's making a grand attempt at that. So those would be the three things that I think he's improved on. But still, we have a lot of, of room for growth with him. And it's a nice award on the way to him being a very special player. So you didn't talk to them after the Cincinnati win. When you did finally get a chance to sit down with them, what were the things that you wanted to do? Well, the number one thing was I told them that statistically there was no rhyme or reason for us to win that game. Uh, other than the fact that our defense held on uh, as best it could, uh, they shot 26%, so did Louisville at halftime, so that's certainly positive. And what we tried to tell them was that their will to win and to make a way out of a simple play uh, for a Mo Harkless or a Gift or anybody to do that uh, was very special because we could have just folded and, and uh, gone into overtime. And, and uh, you know, kind of uh, giving that one back to Cincinnati. So there's a lot to build on, but we also understand that we gave up a 13 point lead in a pretty short period of time, and we can do better. Do you think that this team learned something about how to win the Big East on Saturday? Yeah, I think that one is you can always point to the film, and that's the truth machine, and they can see themselves doing some really positive things, such as contesting a lot of threes. We've had a hard time, as everybody knows, with the three-point shot, but we're getting better with our shifts and what we call our closeouts, and we can actually show it to them how they've improved. Second is, is that we came out fast in the second half, and that's been a problem for us. So that's a piece of film that we can also show them and how we did that, that's so that's going to be important. So and then third, <laughs> excuse me, uh, is just the, the way they won the game, you know, um, and uh, to show them a sequence of events that led to that. Is there a, a value in beating? I mean, there's a number ahead of Marquette's number. It's not, I mean, it doesn't make them better. Is there a value for your team, for a young team, like that could be a ranked team, as well, opposed to being a market? Yeah. market was 27. Yeah. Well, there's a, the, you get a, a double dip on that one. One, there's value in winning on the road in the Big East. Two is it's a Marquette uh, team, dash, buzz, coach team. Those guys play incredibly hard. We like to think that that's what we do, and it's a talent of this team, playing hard, as opposed to an assumption. So to be able to be matched up against that intensity, that's playoff intensity, is very important for us to be able to sustain ourselves if we can. And then third is any ranked team uh, gives yourself a chance for postseason play. And so uh, those are marks, and at some point in time, this team will beat somebody that's ranked. We just don't know when. You talked about uh, after the after the Cincinnati game. You were talking about this idea of getting a buy that the winning mm -hmm. game like that would be good for the buy. Right. Have you seen any dividends of it in practices since? 
we've only had one practice. We lifted weights yesterday. We're pretty tired from the trip. So today, uh, and with Coach Lavin there, uh, it, again, uh, it was highlighted in terms of just their focus and attention to detail on some of the things as we build our defense. Uh, we spent the majority of our time defensively today. And with Coach Lab there, I thought that um, it was much easier for him to teach today than ever before. So yes, there, there's a clear buy-in. You guys have anything else for Coach? Well, you, uh, I mean, you touched on it uh, when you talked about Marquette, and obviously players kind of want you. I mean, for the amount of success that they've had specifically against you guys, it's like seven and one, some such category. So last year was the first time in a long yeah. time that we had yeah. beat Marquette. Yeah. yeah. I mean, other than the fact that they're, I mean, they've been good and both of the coaching. Do you have any specific reason why that team is so challenging for this program? You know, I've only been here uh, a short period of time, but my guess is how hard they play. Uh, two is that he recruits versatile players that are 6'1 to 6'9. They don't have a lot of huge players in their program, and unfortunately they just lost a big. But uh, the point is, is that they're versatile. And so, and they're mobile. So I think they're a lot like us, you know, in our blueprint. So we have to tried to follow that in our recruitment. So I would imagine that they've probably given matchup trouble to St. John's in the past. The matchups have been, um, you know, by that I mean their foot speed, athletic, quick, and intense. Uh, but they'll play small ball. They'll play with small fours, sometimes small fives, meaning six, 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 seven, but they're skilled and probably St. John's in a previous lifetime went off of a more traditional blueprint, is my guess. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Coach.